Good afternoon, DBers. This is Bert Eiffel, as you know, coming to you uh, virtually, if rather than live and direct. I wish I could be here to deliver these remarks in person, but unfortunately I have another uh, sort of engagement in DC that requires my presence. But I wanted to be able to congratulate you and to thank you uh, for all of you've done as uh, D'Souza Brent scholars throughout this year and throughout all the years and reserve my special gra congratulations to the graduating seniors uh, who have been with us throughout these four years of turbulence, uh, have made indelible contributions to the college community, and I expect to the world beyond after you graduate. So I want to pause for a moment so that everyone can recognize our graduates. I just have a few parting words for you as we uh, go through another year of transition, uh, and I hope there'll be words that you can take with you as an encouragement for the journey that lies ahead. Uh, as you know, it has been a, a year of transition, a uh, year of growth, and a year of loss. Uh, we have, were able to welcome a record number of D'Souza Brent scholars this year in the entering class of 2017, but we also lost probably one of the greatest supports and heart of this uh, whole uh, enterprise and Dr. Sybil Anderson. We've been able to withstand those challenges and make the best use of our opportunities in true resilient fashion, which is really, I think, the hallmark of who we are as the Sousa Brent scholars and part of the program. And so there are a couple of things I want to, I guess, leave with you uh, as you contemplate the, the, the wonderful goodies that are spread out in front of you in this cookout. First, I want to reintroduce you to a book I guess is familiar to many of you, uh, Privilege, Power, and Difference, but I want to use the words of the title in somewhat different fashion than maybe the author intended. And I think about power. I think about you as the Susan Brent scholars who have exercised that power, that power to be creative, that power to be resilient, that power to explore, to challenge yourself and to challenge this institution. And in doing so, you have gained power. You've gained intellectual power. You've gained spiritual power. And that power, I'm glad to say, has been mostly used for good on this campus, and I expect in a world beyond. When I think about the term privilege, I think about it in terms of my own relationship with you, particularly in the last month or so. It's been a great privilege for me to get to know you better, to work with you, to learn from you, to be inspired by you and by your example. What you've been able to contribute to this college campus uh, throughout your time here and the life stories you bring to this campus from your families at home. Uh, I consider it a privilege because you've let me into those rich, varied lives. You've allowed me to be part of your world for at least a little while, and I'm very grateful for that. And then when I think about difference, I think about the fact that in so many ways, you as the Sousa Brent scholars have made a difference to this college campus, and that your contributions to this college is a major reason why this program is succeeded and has to succeed, why it is a signature program of St. Mary's College, so much so that we're able to get the support of the state legislature to the tune of several hundreds of thousands of dollars that no other program has been able to attract and will continue to attract in part because of the difference you're making on this campus and the difference that you're making back home with those young people who will be following in your footsteps. So when I think about that title of that famous book, Power, uh, Privilege, Power, and Difference, I realize that we can take it in a different way, uh, that you have the power of your own personalities, your own uh, creativity, your own intellectual achievements. You have the privilege of being able to be in each other's company and each other's support and with the support of other people too, and I have to single out Calvin Clark as one of those great resources, as well as the lingering memory and power of uh, Dr. Anderson. And then of course the difference that you make on this campus as active contributors to the life of St. Mary's, and I think the difference you're going to make when you go out into the world. I want to leave you with just one other piece of verse. Uh, some folks know I'd like from time to time to compose haiku, and I thought I'd leave one little piece of haiku with you. Your obligation is to make the most of your opportunity. Think about that as you continue to enjoy your meal, as you continue to enjoy the rest of this semester, 
and as you continue with your lives. I am very, very proud to be part of this program, and I'm very, very proud of all of you.